very good evening and warm welcome to Dhamma Television's Collective News. This is Trusty Kadki. Let's move on to today's top stories. Human rights activists have staged a peaceful demonstration in front of Bill Hospital demanding action against Adhikari's mother. Minister for Communication and Information Technology Parvat Guru has said that the election cannot be stopped under any circumstances. Newly appointed Youth and Sports Minister Dava Tamang said that the challenges in sports will be overcome with corporations. The Federation of Nepali Journalists has demanded special court relief and monthly subsistence allowance for senior journalists. Corona has been confirmed to another 430 people in Nepal on Tuesday. Here we go for news in detail. Human rights activists have staged a peaceful demonstration in front of Bir Hospital in Kathmandu on Tuesday, demanding action against Adhikari's murderer. They staged a peaceful protest saying that the health condition of Krishna Prashad Adhikari was critical due to the three-week-long hunger strike. Adhikari's 16-year-old son Krishna Prashad Adhikari was killed on June 7, 2006 when he came to Chitwan to, his, to visit his maternal grandparents. Human rights activists in the area said that they had to launch a Save Ganga Maya campaign to put pressure on the government, saying that Ganga Maya's health had been deteriorated. Amra Rajya Samendraaru, Amsanand Gar Nigaaru, Antarashtriya Nigaaru, Pasheli Pari Bastama, Ochitte Pula Sarakar Nadekha Ko Desma. Kis Karne Garda, Wahale Jun Nyay Magnu Baatsa Desma Amro Ek Badata Cha. Ami Manavadikar Karmi Chati Aru Chau. पीड़ित साथीहरु हुनुहुन्छ सम्पूर्ण साथीहरु हाम्रो एकैबद्धता छ किनभने त्यो न्यायका पक्षमा सधैं हामी उभिन्छौ एकातिर भने अर्कोतिर वहाको जीवन रक्षा अहम प्रश्न भएर आएको छ वहा 23 दिन भयो आज चाहिँ उहाँले औषधि नखाएको पानी नखाएको हैन अन्न त उहाँले खानु हुन्न थियो त्यति हुँदा हुँदै पनि सरकार लगायत कसैले पनि सरकार वाला निकायले चासो देखाएनन् वहाका मागप्रति चाहिँ चासो नदेखाएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि वहाको जीवन रक्षा एकातिर र उहाँले मागेको माग न्यायको माग जायज माग हो तो जायज माग पूरा होने पर चाह रहा वहाँ ले न्याय पाओ होने पर चाह वहाँ को छोरा को हत्या रहा लाई कार्रवाई होने पर चाह चाहे तो जुन्सु के खाल का परिक्रिया होने अदालत ले एक थोक बनो अनुसंधान ले आकर थोक बनो विदेशी निकाय हर ले आकर थोक बनो तो आपने ढोंग बचा तो वहाँ को छोरा को हत्या भागो हो बने पूरा तो तेजस्लाइ तभी को मंटरिंग करने तेला वाज करने भूमिका बाटा अन्य निकाय और जो सरकार राक्षस न्याय का पक्ष में दोनों का पक्ष में दोनों कालिन घटना और का पक्ष में ठीक सरकार राखने निकाय और उल्लेख पनी इसमें चासो देखा उन्हें पड़े और गंगा माया को जीवन रच्छा कर दें गर्नो पड़े तो गंगा माया ला न्याय दिलाने पड़े वाने रहा हमें सब ऐसे ही हैं उपस्थित लागा चुका है तब आरुपे प्रदर्शन सही है ना कि किस्ता किस्ता में भाई रहा था प्रदर्शन सही वहाँ अनशन बसन बात है ना तेरे अनशन बस तक ये हमी चाहे तो कितनी कल अवस्था का लागी खबरदारी करने का लागी बसे को अब किस्ता क्या लाये बंदूक तो चेंबर जान दिले थे अरे सोने के बहने तो हमरे ड्यूटी है ना जाहिर है ना हमने जाहिर कहा था ना गंगा माया अधिकारी चाहे बहनों उनसे अरे बरसे ही वरी अंश यहाँ है मी धरना बहने हमरे ड्यूटी है ना it has been 22 days since Ganga Maya Dikari went on a hunger strike for the 12th time demanding action against her son's murderer as well as her husband who died on a hunger strike. Minister for Communications and Information Technology Parvat Gurung has made it clear that the election cannot be stopped under any circumstances. Speaking at a program organized by Working Dalit Journalists Association, he said that he had decided to go for a fresh mandate as the government was not allowed to work. He mentioned that all the parties were campaigning in the name of the movement. Minister Gurung also said that the journalists should form an opinion by analyzing the current situation. As a चुनाव ताज़ा जनादेश लूँ चाहिए यो प्रतिगामी होने सकते हैं ना यो असंवैधानिक होने सकते हैं ना 
यो किन यो परिस्थिति यसको व्याख्या नगरौ लामो हुन सक्छ त्यसैले पत्रकार महासंघले कोच्चै हालेको हुँदाखेरि म यसमा प्रवेश गर्न चाहेको थिइन त्यसैले पनि म मलाई के लाग्छ भने यस्तो विषयवस्तु प्रति आज हामी जिम्मेवार बनौ र पत्रकार महासंघ अथवा पत्रकारहरु हामी राजनीति पार्टीहरु आज तपाईको सडक आन्दोलनको माग गर्नेहरुले पनि चुनावको एजेन्डा बनाएको हो भन्ने कुरामा सबै प्रश्न भइसक्यो नेपाली कांग्रेसको सभापति शेरवा देवबाले प्रश्न भनि सक्नु हो अब का चुनावमा जानु पर्ने मेला का अब यो चाहिँ संसद पुनर्स्थापना भनि सक्नु हो भने यो परिस्थिति एउटा चुनावको परिस्थिति गरेको बेलामा अब एला चाहिँ ताजा जनादेश लिने कुरामा अब फेरि पनि यो चाहिँ कहीँ स्वतन्त्रता मेट उ छ र कहीँ कु भएको छ र कहीँ तपाईँको व्यक्तिगत रूपमा कहीँ यसलाई चाहिँ ताजा यो जनादेश काम लागेन यसले मुलुकलाई अग्रगति दिन सकेन यो अनिर्णयको बन्दी बन्न पर्यो यो सरकारले काम गर्न सकेन यो संरचनाले काम गर्न सकेन नयाँ जनादेश लिऊ भन्नु फेरि जनताकै बिचमा जाने कुरो यो पक्कै पनि प्रतिगामी होइन यो असंवैधानिक होइन त्यसले पनि म तपाईँहरूलाई धेरै हामीले सोच विचार गरिकन हामीले धेरै यसको विरोध गर्ने भन्दा पनि यसलाई सन्तुलित ढङ्गले यसलाई द्वन्द न्यूनीकरण गर्ने हिसाबले हामी काम गरौँ हाम्रा कलमहरू चलाउँ हामीले त्यो अनुसारको सञ्चारकर्मीको भूमिका निर्वाह गरौँ सञ्चारकर्मीहरू गैर जिम्मेवार बन्ने र अत्यन्त द्वन्द चर्काउने र विवादमा ल्याउने काममा पत्रकारहरू नगरौँ मलाई त लाग्छ मैले अन्तिममा भन्न चाहन्छु अहिलेको परिस्थिति भनेको जनयुद्धको समयमा तत्कालीन माओवादीले लिएको थियो ढाडमा टेकेर टाउकोमा हान्ने भन्ने रणनीति थियो आज प्रचण्डले माधव नेपालको ढाडमा टेकेर प्रधानमन्त्री केपी ओलीको टाउकोमा हान्ने भन्दा यो प्रजातन्त्रकै टाउकोमा हान्ने संविधानकै टाउकोमा हान्ने रणनीति लिएको हो उहाँको त्यो हिजोको जनयुद्धको रणनीति अहिले फेरि पनि यो अहिलेको यसमा चाहिँ फेरि पनि कपी गर्दाखेरिको परिस्थिति पनि हो माधव नेपालले पनि प्रचण्डको ढाडमा टेकेर केपी ओलीको टाउकोमा हान्दाखेरिको परिस्थितिबाट यो जन्मेका कुराहरू हुन् त्यसैले मलाई यो जनयुद्धको समयमा ढाडमा टेकेर टाउकोमा हान्ने रणनीतिबाट जुन असफल थियो अहिले उहाँहरूको त्यो अहिलेको त्यो रणनीति पनि असफल हुन्छ असफल यात्रामा कोही कसैले विज्ञप्ति दिएर अत्यन्त आनन्द नल्याउ एक्टिभ जर्नलिस्ट वेर अनर्ड एट द इभेन्ट Newly appointed Youth and Sports Minister Dawa Tamang has said that the challenges in sports will be overcome by cooperating. At a program organized by the National Sports Council on Tuesday to welcome and congratulate Ms. Minister Tamang, he said that he would overcome the challenges in sports by cooperating with the stakeholders. He also informed that the government is committed for the development and expansion of the sports sector. He also said that he would soon discuss the existing problems in the sports sector with the stakeholders. उच्च सम्मान गर्दै हाम्रो अगाडि देखा परेका समस्या हाम्रो अगाडि देखा परेका चुनौती र अझ हामीले चुनौती सँगसँगै गर्न सक्ने यो खेल क्षेत्रको सम्भावना पक्षलाई मन्त्रालयको तर्फबाट मेरो तर्फबाट आवश्यक र अन्तर सम्बन्धित निकायहरूसँग समन्वय हुनेछ पहल गर्नेछु र यहाँसँगै सहयात्रा गर्दै सहकार्य गर्दै देखा परेका ती समस्यालाई पन्छाउँदै देखा परेका चुनौतीहरूलाई पन्छाउँदै सम्भावना र आवश्यक विषयहरूमा यहाँहरूसँगै आत्माल गर्दै अगाडि बढ्नेछु म यो कुरा यहाँहरूसँग राख्दै जहाँसम्म केही विषयहरू अलिक विचारले छन् सोचले छन् निकै गहिरेर जानुपर्ने पनि कुराहरू छ मैले अघि नै पनि राखिसकेँ यी विषयहरूमा मन्त्रालयको तर्फबाट आवश्यक समन्वय र पहल हुनेछ गर्नेछु
Nepal Sports Council Member Secretary Ramesh Kumar Shiva pointed out the need to adjust the staff and promote the long stall staff as per the Act and urged them to take initiative to increase the budget allocated for sports in the current fiscal year. <laughs> Member Secretary Silva said that the ninth national games had to be postponed due to COVID-19. After the program, Minister Tamang also inspected the Dastra Stadium in Tripurishwar. The Kathmandu branch of Federation of Nepalese Journalists has demanded special co-relief and monthly subsistence allowance for senior journalists. Handing over a 16-point memorandum to Communications and Information Technology Minister Parvat Gurung at Singadarwar on Tuesday, Federation of Nepalese Journalists Kathmandu drew the attention of the government to provide special cover relief and monthly subsistence allowance to senior journalists who have reached the age of 60 and have been working as journalists continuously for more than 35 years. Similarly, the branch has demanded to take policy steps for the arrangement of proportional distribution of advertisements provided by the local and state level till the implementation of the proportional advertisement policy. Stating that the Working Journalist Act has not been implemented in big media houses so far, the government has demanded immediate intervention and implementation of the act, said Santa Ram Bidari, chairman of the branch. He also demanded to provide free internet facility to the media persons and media houses with identity cards of the information department and to bring a policy of customs exemption by arranging one media house and one vehicle. <laughs> Understanding the memorandum, Minister Gurung said that the demand of the Federation was positive. He also stressed on the need for media personnel to be balanced and convey accurate information in the changed context. The Kathmandu branch of Federation has also demanded the classification of newspaper distribution by press council to be done in a scientific, transparent and fair manner. Kona has been confirmed to 430 more people in Nepal on Tuesday. 
According to Ministry of Health, the number of corona infections in Nepal has reached 2,65,698. Similarly, five more people have died due to corona infection. Altogether, 1,932 people have lost their lives due to corona infection in Nepal. Similarly, another 390 people have been cured from the infection. So far, 2,59,358 people have been cured from corona infection. At present, 448 people are in isolation and 237 in quarantine. According to the ministry, 19.92 million PCRs have been performed. This is all for now. We'll be back with more news and updates. Till then, keep watching them at television for peace, prosperity, and enlightenment. May all the sentient beings be at peace. Stay safe.